What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Pelican case, specifically how we're going to mount it to the roof rack. guys so the case we decided to go with is the pelican 1750 we decided to go with pelican just because pelican has been out for a really long time this specific model is called the protector they've been working on the protector series since like i think the 1960s um, so they have been working on this for a while now i think they have perfected it and of course it is made in the US, which we like. So, um, and then of course, the other thing is that it is really low profile. I think it is under six inches or around there. So it's not gonna cause a lot of drag when it's actually on the roof rack. So um, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get this on the roof rack. So first thing of course is to get your case onto your roof rack and then decide where exactly you want to mount it. So we are going to be putting it pretty much dead center, a little bit towards the back. That way, um, I guess it's a little bit aerodynamic with the uh, wind deflector here in the front. So we're going to have it back just a little bit. It's not going to reach that last bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to put holes pretty much on this bar, go along from that right there and then from right here so that way we have a wide enough spread to actually hold this thing down and it's not going to vibrate or anything like that so we have these ribs that are on the pelican case on the top and on the bottom so we're going to use that as our guideline to pretty much line up with the crossbar here so pretty much we're going to use that as our guide we're just going to push it back until it meets that line and that way we know it's exactly where we want it. It doesn't matter um, as far as side to side just yet because once we have the uh, bolt in here, we can slide it and move it to any position that we want. So once we have it here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some tape, it's gonna rip out a little bit, and we're gonna set it right above our crossbar here. And then with the second one, we're gonna set it above this one, which is our last crossbar we're gonna be mounting it to. And then just grab a pen or a Sharpie. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark exactly where we're gonna be making that uh, hole. Once we have those um, marked, we'll go ahead and take the case down and then we'll measure it out and then put the holes where we want it. So once we have marked those up on the roof rack, we'll bring it down, we'll flip it over. This is the back side of it. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this rib right here as our guide. So that is our guide there. So it's gonna be, so measure our mark to the rib. So we got about, about five eighths from this rib. So basically what we'll do is we'll take this whole side and we'll mark two holes. So we'll lay that against that rib on the case. We'll measure five eighths. All right, so basically I just made Two little marks where I'm going to be drilling and then it's always good to double check your measurement before you actually drill because you don't want multiple holes obviously. So this one here we measured it about four and a half from this rib. We just put this masking tape down. So 
So we'll come over four and a half inches and then make our mark. All right, so before you guys drill, make sure you guys take the foam out of the bottom at least. That way when you drill, you don't drill into the foam if you guys do decide that you're gonna be using foam. And then depending on what hardware you are gonna be using, this is the one that we're gonna be using. It is an Allen head. And so we need to find a drill bit that is pretty much the exact, the exact same size and not too much bigger. That way we don't have any water issues going inside. And of course you can also, also use a rubber spacer or um, just use silicone to seal up the hole afterwards if you really don't want any water getting in there. So we are gonna be using a 7 30 seconds drill bit. That is pretty much the same size as our um, bolt that we're gonna be using. So once we have that, go ahead and just drill it. Once you have all the holes drilled, you can remove the tape. After you have the holes drilled, the tape's removed, um, try to get your hardware in there. And ours is a pretty tight fit, but it does go in. So we're gonna go with this just because we want it as tight as possible. That way we don't have any water issues. So the next step is uh, we got the case back up here. So depending on what roof rack you have, will determine what hardware you have or need. Um, if you have a Prinzu, they do have those T-slot uh, cutout that you can just drop in and then slide over. Um, this one is an up top overland roof rack. Um, so they come with these little uh, half moon T-slots that just slide in there. So we're gonna put those, of course, in the wrong spot. Slide those half moon T-slots into position. Okay, once we have them there, we can use a little pick tool to move them wherever we need. We got the holes drilled already and the T-slots that are here. Um, so since we are using an Allen type bolt, um, we're going to be using an Allen wrench, of course. So pretty much just move it to where you think is close enough and then grab your hardware. So in our case, we are using uh, an Allen head bolt. We're going to be using two lock washers, two washers, and then two small spacers. Um, you don't really have to use the spacers if you don't want to but the bolt that we're using is a little bit too long, so that's why we need the spacers, just to spread it out so that way we don't go through the crossbars. So pretty much lining up the holes is gonna be the hardest part. So we'll get the hardware put together. And then we'll slide the case, looking through the holes to find your T-slots. So our holes are just maybe like two millimeters off. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna loosen up the crossbar since it's adjustable. We'll just slide it back a little bit and then get it exactly to mount the holes. So that way we don't have to drill into uh, two more holes. So we have loosened that front crossbar. We moved it just a little bit and then uh, we slid that T-slot over and then now we can actually see the T-slot um, through the hole. So what we'll do now is we'll just put our hardware through. So our hole is just the right size. So basically we're making a thread um, with the this bolt that we're using. So that way it's pretty much watertight and we don't have to use any silicone or a rubber washer. But if you did go a little bit too big, you definitely can use a rubber washer or just put some silicone around this. Um, but water doesn't travel up, so you don't really have to worry about water getting in here. Um, 
But just in case you wanted to do that, you can. Okay, so once we have everything kind of loosely placed together, we'll go ahead and slide it to however close you want it to the side of your roof rack. And then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. We have it about four inches from the edge of the box to the edge of the roof rack. That way we can get our hand in here to the latches easily. Then we'll just go ahead and tighten these all the way down. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Um, we are going to get another Pelican and have it on the other side. That way we can have more gear up top and less in the bed and inside. Um, I'm going to have the link to this box down below. Um, but that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.